There's this English food item called the King James Pie that takes all the components of a full English breakfast, stuffs it into a pie and bakes it. But we're not doing that because we're making an Americanized version. <clears throat> all the best parts of an American breakfast are going into this. What might they be, you ask? I'll tell you. You're gonna have chicken and waffles and of course some cream gravy must come with that. There will be bacon and there will be sausage. There will be eggs and there will be pancakes and there will be hash browns. Am I forgetting anything? All of that goes into a, a, a pastry, a, a, all of that goes into a, 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 a pie. A pie. All of that goes into a pie. Bottom crust, top crust, slammed into the oven. Not slammed, because it might wreck it. Lovingly placed into the oven and baked. A lot of fucking work, man. It'll be great. We think it's gonna be great. And we begin with the dough. That's our pie dough. I bought it, come on. Give me some slack here, right? But it's going in here, but it has to come out. So I'm gonna do a couple things. One is I'm gonna take a roll of parchment and just make it large enough. I'll be able to cut a circle that will fit inside. That's perfect. And if it doesn't fit, that's okay because I have one more trick up my sleeve and it's this. I'm gonna make a couple lifter sheets. One and two that are gonna go underneath this circle, like this and like this, and we'll go here. So when we pull the kit out, it comes up perfectly. Because if it's stuck in here after, I'm just gonna be a maniac and it's gonna be bad. We'll add one more layer of protection by putting some flour in here and just getting it all the way around the sides. Nothing's gonna stick on my watch, you got that? Nothing, perfect. We'll put it here, we'll do this. Now we've got extra, let's roll out our dough. First we'll check the size, because we want this dough coming up the sides of this, and I'm gonna guess right now, it's not quite gonna do that. And to do that, I will use my trusty rolling pin. Okay, everybody knows, and I know, I'm not a baker, so I'm hoping all this works out. Let's start with our lifter sheets. Okay, I know it's not very pretty yet, don't worry. And then my circle. Max, this better work. Yeah, better. Oh yeah, I forgot, I'm the one doing it. We'll come up with this. Oh, I think we're gonna be great here, guys. Look at that, this is almost perfect. We're gonna put a top crust on. It's gonna help everything work out beautifully. Now I'm gonna do now what is called blind baking. If I don't pre-bake this bottom crust, it's gonna be soggy and I don't want that to happen. So we're gonna take another piece of parchment, crunch it up a bit, spread it out in here gently, and just throw in, this is black rice. They'll just keep it down a little bit, like a weight. I'm gonna throw this in a 450 oven for about uh, 20, 25 minutes, and then it'll be ready to fill. Who's ready for the bacon component? Yeah. Of course we all are. Look, I could uh, chop up bacon and scatter it. I could just do separate pieces, but I wanna do a weave. And I think we can, I think we can do this. But I have an idea. Before I do this, I'm just gonna give this a quick spray because I don't want the bacon sticking. Had that lesson before. All right, let's try and do this. Sort of need like perfect pieces for this. And this starting guy is pissing me off a bit. If memory serves me correct, the last time I did a weave, fine like this. So if you've ever done any weaving of anything, this is the way to do it. You put one row down all the way across, then you introduce your other pieces, you intersperse by lifting up edges, putting them down. I mean, look, it's all perfect, but let's not forget, it's going inside a pie tin with a whole bunch of other stuff on it, right? So now this goes on here. And if there's a lesson to be learned, it's that you cook bacon on a rack, it lifts up off the grease, and in the oven like this, it'll come out hopefully perfect, it'll just be smaller. Fingers crossed, and we go 400 degrees for about a half an hour. And the fried chicken looks like this. I'm using tenders, because they gotta fit in this pan. You can put a whole bunch of them in. So you know, you've seen this move before. We take one of these, it's in buttermilk, seasoned with garlic powder, pepper, some Cholula, we let it sit for a couple hours. We drop it in the seasoned flour. There's lots of pepper in here because that's what I like with my fried chicken. Knock off the excess, on it goes, and we continue. We're employing the universally accepted wet hand, dry hand technique. And it usually works for me for about five minutes and then I end up getting two wet hands and grossness everywhere. But let me encourage you, if you've stayed away from frying chicken, revisit because it's really one of the great things in life. We've done an awful lot of it and we always love it. And once these are done, we head right to the fryer. Well, the deep fryer is heating up because somebody forgot to turn it on and that'd be me. Let's make our waffle because there's waffles with the chicken, of course. A little quick spray on the bottom. And now our waffle batter. And in we go. 
And I never know how much to put in. I'd rather overshoot, right? Wouldn't you? Yes. Than undershoot. So that looks about good. Close it up, give it the turn. And you wait for the little ready light to come on. In the meantime, how about we uh, throw some hash browns on the flat top? Little oil, spread around, and on go our bag hash browns. I mean, I think it's okay if we're putting all of this together and making fried chicken and all this, all this, all this. You could use bag hash browns, I mean, right? Right. Thank you. And I always like a little seasoning, salt and pepper, smoked paprika. Uh-oh, got a little heavy over here. It's going to be okay. The key to these is to let them sit. Don't, don't start flipping yet. You want to get that crust on them, the browning, the crispiness, and then we'll start mixing them up. All right, let's check our waffle. And it looks like waffle perfection. Who doesn't like that? Quite nice. It's going to be delicious in there. All right. And what would a breakfast pie be without some breakfast sausages, right? Right. So on they go. You don't need to say right every time he says that, Chad. I get scared if I don't. <laughs> Leave the child alone. He knows what he's doing. Love them. Love a breakfast sausage. All right, let's uh, give these guys a little flip a rooney. Get yourself a section and flip it over. Beautiful. Could be more. We're going to be coming back to those, so don't worry about it. Nice. We have a look at our sausages. Because you understand the basic principle here, right? It's just called browning. So I'll get everybody on their sides. These guys will just get beautifully browned all the way around. Lovely, lovely. Okay, these guys again. Shall we? Just keep going. Crispy. That's the goal. It's going to be an unexpected crisp layer in the middle of this. Yes, of course there's chicken, but it's all good. Sausage is coming along nicely. You know what would have been a good idea? Tongs? Tongs. Fucking hell. It's okay, you've only been doing this for 20 years. Well, it's just something easy about fingers. And they look like what we're cooking. That's the creepy part. All right, the oil's finally ready, and in goes our chicken. You know, we don't overload because that'll just drive the temp way down. So let's go three pieces at a time. Probably these tenders do not take long, maybe five, six minutes, and then we'll take them out. All right, sausages, these guys are ready. Beautiful. Come on, guys. Nice. Hash browns, another turn. There you're getting there, see? I think this middle part needs to go now cook in the sausage grease. Beautiful, I'm happy. Ah, coming along nicely, not quite there. Just a couple minutes and we'll pull them out. And these guys are looking where I want them to look. Well, that didn't make sense. These guys are looking how I want them to look. Crispy, yet still with a little, oh, softness in some of them. Oh, all right, let's check our chicken. And perfection, all right. Let these drip a bit, I'll take them off, and then uh, you don't need to watch the rest happen, but trust me, I'm gonna cook the rest of it. You can't have chicken and waffles without gravy, right? Even in a crazy pie thing. So well, I'm gonna put about a tablespoon and a half of the bacon grease that came from our bacon weave, and wait till you see it, because it's spectacular. We're gonna add about the same amount of flour to this, and then quickly, we'll start to stir it. And when it's mixed through nicely, we're gonna add some liquid. And that will be, this is milk and cream. I've got, ah, it's hot. Damn it. Shit, I gotta turn this down. Fucking hell, I'm dying here. This is a cup and a quarter of whole milk and a quarter cup of heavy cream. Whipping cream, you know. So at this point, I'll switch to, what's this thing, my whisk. And if you do it slowly, little by little, yeah, way better chance of not having this be lumpy. So do it little by little. And the flour. It's gonna help it thicken. The cream will help it thicken and make it a little bit richer. And over the next few minutes, by the time everything's in, you're gonna be very happy. We can season it now though, while we wait. It's gonna get a pinch of salt and an ass load of pepper. Not a technical measurement, but I like a lot of pepper and cream gravy. So because this is so boring, perhaps through the magic of Max and Chance, when you see this next, it'll be thick and gorgeous. And there we have it. It's a perfecto. Not too thick, not thin. Just gonna be perfect on the chicken and waffles. All right, now, pancakes, eggs, and we're ready to build. Okay, I'm excited for this part. We just had some discussion amongst us, and we've decided that one large pancake will be better. So we butter that up, and we pour, and I know that I want it about this wide. So these are my notes. Good God, man. That's basically gonna be perfect. Love it. Okay, now it's time for some eggs. So let's butter around the edge. Party amount, and we'll crack some eggs. But my spatula is, come on, try and contain them a little better. Uh-oh, he broke. Can we accept them? Of course. Max? I don't know, you tell me. Nope. <laughs> oh. 
Sorry, Chance. I, mean, I do have to season these guys a bit as we go. So let's try and get two more good eggs in here. Great, great. Season, 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 season. Keep it together, fellas. Don't need anybody going rogue on me now. And we chose four eggs because we think that will give us uh, the right amount of coverage. Coverage is important, as will be that pancake if it ever gets done. Let's get the eggs off one at a time. Don't break them, Sam. All this hard work only to break eggs now would be very disappointing. And our last little friend, look at it, fantastic. All right, now the pancake. So the pancake I'm taking off like this, and now I want to rebutter and put him back like this. Oh, snap, that's a pancake. He's ready and so are we. Come on, buddy. Now we build. All right, ready for the reveal? Yes. We'll do it in three, two, and one. <laughs> what? What, wait, oh, hey, don't forget, there's a giant pancake that also has to be part of this. I can't wait. Okay, but let's get everything out of the way so we can build it. And remember our, our pie thing? Here it is. So we carefully take out this rice layer and we have that. It's just gonna be great. I'm so happy about this. Okay, and here's my thinking of how we build this thing. Allow me to show the, the camera. You start with the pastry, then you got the waffle, the chicken, then the gravy, and that makes the most sense. Then because of the bumpy nature of the chicken, I'm putting the hash browns because you can use it like a leveling agent like sand. And then we got our pancake. What's that say upside down? Then you got your eggs, then you got the bacon weave, and then you got the top pastry. All right, so does anybody disagree with this? No. Better not, because I spent a stupid amount of time plotting out what goes where. Waffles, now the chicken. Ah, but I've got this gap. See, that's the concern. I think I have to open these up. If I open this up, and just push them to the edge, then at least I'll be better. Watch, we break this guy, right? Okay, that's good. One big piece on each. Now hash browns, part in my hands. Next is easy. It's a, oh my gosh. Could not be any better, could it? Sausage. We only have two things left, the bacon and the eggs. Oh, the gravy. You never put the gravy. <laughs> All right, so we're lifting off the pancake. What? So what I appreciate, fortunately, Oh, and the, this is the perfect time for it. You know why? Because it's gonna meld in here right along with the hash browns and it's just general smattering of it. Watch, I'm the Jackson Pollock of gravy. Now we come back in with this. <laughs> oh, this piece of shit better come out or I'll be getting shears and cutting down the sides. Okay, eggs. Bacon weave, it's holding. Okay, we know some egg stuff's gonna break here. I think what we need is some scissors. All right, so now I need to trim a bit. Great. Might as well eat a piece while I'm here. All right, dough, the other piece. All right, so this is gonna be difficult because, well, partially because this is ripping, but what I want now is to just sort of tuck this right down the side. This parchment that I thought was gonna be my saving grace still might, but it is kind of getting in my way a little bit. For me, the best analogy that I can give you since we're in the middle of watching for all mankind is what's about to happen now for me is what I imagine the astronauts felt as they were leaving the spaceship to step out onto the moon for the first time. The exact same thing. It's very close, isn't it? Now we take a little Sam the Cooking Guy, four inch paring knife, we give it a few of those, and we should weigh it. Okay, so before we do, let's weigh the kid. It's not 5.2 pounds. It's 5.2 pounds. It's 5.2 pounds. Okay, well then I gotta give it another couple of these. I don't know why, but I suddenly just got very scared. Okay, my oven's at like 400, in it goes. And then I'll see in like a half an hour or something. And we're here. And I gotta admit, looking about as gorgeous as I could have hoped. I think it needs to cool a little bit, but I would like it to cool outside of the pan. So that means taking it out. And if I, oh, you see that? Maybe too subtle, I'll do it again. Watch. It's gonna come out. I think I want two hands on this. So let's do this. You're gonna get two, and I'm oh, gonna get two. Sure. Okay. Two? Sure. Okay. Just as high as that, and then right there, okay? On your, on Gentle. Your mark. One, two, three, like a patient, and Boom. here we go. First try. <laughs> Nicely done, boys. <laughs> Thank you. Now, how do we get these papers out? Oh. Like that, like that. I wondered how it was gonna connect to the bottom part, but it gets pretty rad. Okay, it gets 10 minutes and then we cut it, all right? Damn, if I can wait. All right, it's time. And while it's cooling, I forgot that I had this underneath, which by the way, certainly helped because it was a dream getting it off. So we're gonna make, try and make one. I'm so scared. Oh. 
Okay, and I'm going in. Cutting through sausage, bacon. There's an egg somewhere in there. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's see what we got here. <laughs> the sausage, damn it. Look at the learn. Now let's try and eat that, shall we? Yeah. By the way, everybody's taking home pie. See, you don't need to say yes every time. Thank you, Chance. It's breakfast pie. Let's look at our layers. You can see the waffly edge down here, and then the chicken, obviously. And then there's some hash brown in the background. Then giant pancake, sausages, eggs, bacon, crust. Oh, I feel like I'm missing something. Gravy? Gravy, oh, there's gravy right there. All right, so let's try this. Let's just go right straight down to the tip. All right, so here's the first bite. I don't know what I got in here. It's freaking fantastic. That was chicken, waffle, gravy. Well, sausage. I know what sausage is. Mm, maple ones too. Pretty good. Now, if we come up here, you can se separate this. Just pull this layer off a little bit and then go and get yourself some egg and some sausage and some bacon and some top crust. You know, <laughs> I think you roll this out for your family and friends. Yes, it's work, but have people over. Everybody gets a job. Chance, you make sausages. Max, you make pancakes. Blah, blah, all the way down the line. Beth, you make chicken and waffles. And then you put it together. And then you go outside, you play cricket, and come back in, and you eat. I love this. You'll love it. Yeah, make a small one if you want. It's all good. All right, thanks for hanging. Uh, thanks for being here. If you haven't subscribed, be a good time to do it now. Hit the like button and go to shopstcg.com to get stuff like I'm wearing. <laughs>